Stitch formation and stitch balance. You have learnt about different parts of the sewing machine that are involved in the sewing operation. Although there are many parts, it is the needle and the threads which finally do the stitching. Therefore, it is vital to learn how the needle performs stitching by combining the thread from the spool and the thread from the bobbin. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to describe how stitch forms in a sewing machine, identify a balanced stitch formed from a sewing machine. Let's first see how stitch forms in the sewing machine. A threaded needle is inserted into the material at needle's lowest point. A rotating shuttle hook enlarges the needle thread loop, catches the thread of the needle and brings it around the bottom thread spool. The two threads knot and form a stitch to hold the fabrics together. The take-up lever tightens the stitch into the material. The material is fed forward. Now that we created a stitch formation, let us have a closer look at the stitches that were made. A balanced stitch has the upper and lower thread locked right in the middle of the cloth. The stitches will look alike on either side. If the stitch is not in balance, either the upper thread will be too tight or the lower thread will be too tight. With that, we come to the end of this class. Let's recall what we have learnt. A threaded needle passes through the fabric and gets to the needle's lowest point. A rotating shuttle hook enlarges the thread loop. The thread from the needle is brought around bottom thread spool. The two threads knot and form a stitch to hold the fabrics together. A balanced stitch has the upper and lower thread locked right in the middle of the cloth. Now you have seen how a stitch forms in a sewing machine. You will also be able to identify a balanced stitch. Take our next class to learn how to adjust length of stitch. Thanks.